Hi, and welcome to the debut of my YouTube channel. Uh, if you've been following me for a long time on Instagram, you know that I have been talking about starting a YouTube channel for eh, a long time now. And I have been getting my feet wet with IGTV, which I have to say has been a total hoot. I've really enjoyed that. But my hesitation in starting YouTube was losing the kind of connection that I have um, with all of you on Instagram because I wanted it to be the same kind of feel. And I was talking to uh, my kids and to a lot of my friends on Instagram and they said, just keep it the same way. So that is what I'm going to do. I love just being able to hop on here and do a story or do an IGTV or do a post. And so that's what um, my YouTube is going to be like. I will probably concentrate on talking about um, my collection and doing comparisons and doing reviews and stuff like that because I get lots and lots and lots of questions about that in comparing different pieces and um, doing reviews on them and which I really love doing those. I think um, that's what my YouTube channel is going to be. And as I progress, maybe I'll start doing some vlogging, maybe use my camera, trying to do things a little bit more fancy. Um, but I will say that my videos are going to totally be unedited exactly the way I do it um, on Instagram because first of all, I'm lazy. I don't have that kind of time or energy. And second, I just don't know how to do it. So it's going to be the same format as it is on Instagram. And I thought I would start by giving a little bit of a background on why I love luxury and the color emerald green. And as far as the color emerald green goes, you know, I don't exactly have a pinpointed date that I started loving it. I do know that my grandmother loved um, the color emerald green a lot and I love my grandmother dearly so that might have something to do with it but I did like different colors I mean I liked green as a kid and then in my teenage years I liked the color blue and then as a young adult I liked the color red and that really showed up because when we bought this house um, my favorite color was red and a lot of the rooms and the decorations that I did were red and now, actually, my husband, Clark, is afraid that we're going to change the whole house to green <laughs> and then I'm going to stop loving green, which would be a very, very sad day if I ever did. But um, I've only done a couple of rooms, so he's okay. But um, my love for luxury actually started in my 20s. I have always been intrigued by Louis Vuitton. And a fun little story, um, when I got married the first time back in 1991, my ex and I had one of those money dances. And we agreed that whatever money we made, we would spend on whatever we wanted. And so the money that we got, we split. And I wanted to buy a Louis Vuitton bag. He had no clue what Louis Vuitton was. But the day after our wedding, we went to the Louis Vuitton boutique and I bought my very first handbag, which was the uh, Speedy 25 in monogram. And I have since then given that bag to Samantha, um, who has it, and it's really beat up and old, but I, I don't ever want to sell it or get rid of it because that was my very first piece. Throughout my first marriage, though, um, we did not uh, have enough money where I could afford doing any kind of luxury shopping. And so that didn't really start until about 12 years ago after Clark and I got married. I still had that love for, for uh, luxury. And um, when I started working with Clark in our insurance agency, I was able to start collecting some pieces. And I will say that I, over the years, have collected not only new pieces, but um, uh, pre-loved pieces and vintage pieces. I have, I love the, um, the mix of new and pre-loved. I have, I, I have always loved that. And if you can find yourself um, some really good pre-loved uh, sellers, I think that that is a gold mine. And so, I have been able to build up my collection uh, quite a lot in the last 12 years, probably more than my hubby would like. Um, he does not understand my love for Lux, and that's okay. He said, honey, you work hard, you make your own money. If this makes you happy, then go for it. And so that's where uh, my love for that uh, came about. And I will say, 
it has been a fun journey. Um, when I first started my Instagram a couple of years ago, I had no idea the incredibly uh, warm and friendly and fabulous people that I would meet through that community. It has been such a fun ride. It really, really has. And now I, it, it, it also has helped me to um, bloom a little bit in my comfort zone. Um, I will say the first time I ever heard my voice on a video, I thought, holy cow, is that what I sound like? Yep, it is, my kid said. Um, but I've learned to overlook that and to just move on with that. And so I just wanted to take this first video to just say, you know, um, what I was thinking and a little hello and what I was thinking about doing on my YouTube. Uh, you will see a lot of Lux. You will see a lot of Emer em uh, Emerald Green. And you will also see a lot of my family. Those are things that are very important to me and not in that order at all. Of course, my family is my number one treasure and what I love the most. And my family is uh, pretty sweet in their um, support of me. They all think I'm nuts, which is totally fine. Uh, but my girls love it too, and my granddaughter. Actually, my grandson does too. And it's so funny that they are all used to being on my Instagram now too. They are, okay, mom needs to do a story or mom needs to do an IGTV or, you know, and it's funny because the kids want to be on it, the babies want to be on it too. So I think that that is just a hoot. So I thought um, just as a little intro, I would show you uh, my green sea of fun little stuff that I have. And this again, please know, is uh, a collection in the making for the last 12 and a half years or so. And uh, my particular uh, array of things that I'm going to show you uh, span across um, the fashion line houses. It's not just Louis Vuitton. I have Balenciaga, Chanel, Hermes, um, Gucci, Chloe, uh, Prada. So I have all sorts of different ones that... Um, I love and when they come out with my green everybody knows that I'm in trouble because I'm gonna buy it so you know the newest one is the Bottega Veneta little pouch that came out in the I think it's called speed green or something like that mm, I saw it in the store the other day and I think I might have to get it but anyway so I'm gonna show you my green um, my sea of green and I will probably do some other videos showing each of the pieces in a little bit more depth and um, show you a little bit more details on those. And like I said, um, I will probably also have to redo my two reviews that I did on the uh, Borsico EW clutch that I have and then also all my, uh, my round, um, yes, my little round family of Louis Vuittons that I have, uh, the name escapes me right now. Um, because those were all filmed up and down and YouTube is horizontal. So I got to keep everything straight and I'm totally going to get confused. But, you know, hey, it is what it is. So let me show you some of my green pieces and then we'll go from there. And here you have it. My sea of green. I posted this on Instagram today, so you may have seen this already. And like I said on that post, that my beautiful friend Melissa Soldera challenged me in showing all my green things since we both saw a post a couple of weeks ago of someone who posted their um, group of purple stuff. So not only did I think that was a great idea, but also a very fun way to debut my YouTube. So I love it. And like I said before, um, here are all different uh, fashion houses. We've got um, Gucci pieces, and of course, Louis Vuitton, Balenciaga, uh, Hermes, Prada, Chloe, and Chanel. And I will say that I did not include all of my green shoes because that required a little bit more work. And yeah, this was already a lot. Should have seen Clark's face when he walked into my office. What on earth happened in here? So anyway, oh, and also I wanted to um, point out my uh, Louis Vuitton canvas Mickey Mouse ears I had made with the green canvas from one of my old bags. So yes, this is my collection of SLGs, scarves, handbags, agendas, pouches, 
and the like. The only piece that I don't have in here is my Dior book tote, which is also green, but not emerald green, but I've got a bunch of stuff and using it right now, so it's not in the family photo. So yeah, here it is. And like I said, I will probably uh, do some videos in the future uh, showing you the different green pieces according to their fashion houses. And I can show you what they hold and what I like about them and all that kind of fun stuff. So I thought that would be fun. So anyway, here's a shot of the family. So there you have it, my sea of green, my green collection, my green addiction, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, I love green, in case you couldn't tell. But I just wanted to uh, say thank you for coming along on this debut uh, voyage of this YouTube journey. And I look forward to going on this trip with you guys. And also um, just once again saying that I will not lose touch um, with you guys on Instagram. And um, the other thing I wanted to say too is that I'm, I'm not going to have a scheduled out um, weekly video or uh, have one every four days or anything like that. This is just going to be off the cuff and um, something that I just want to do when I want to do it. Um, I don't want it to become, you know, not fun. So I will always let you guys know when I have a video on Instagram or when I post something on YouTube or yeah, and then I'll try to link it and do all that fun stuff, all that um, technical stuff. And um, yeah, so I will let you know through Instagram when I have these. So again, thank you guys so much for your support. I, uh, I just, I can't tell you what it means to me. It really does. And if you do want to watch my videos, you can subscribe down below. So anyway, hope you have a fabulous rest of your evening and I will see you at my next video.